Hello, uh, my name is Pierre Kersteter and I am an associate professor at the School of Meteorology and the School of uh, Civil Engineering here at the University of Oklahoma. I uh, am coming from France where I got all my degrees. I got a Diplôme d'ingénieur uh, from Grenoble Institute of Technology and uh, then uh, a Master of Science in uh, Environmental Science uh, from uh, Grenoble Alps University and uh, my PhD degree in Meteorology from the same university in uh, 2009. I came to OU in uh, 2011, so it has been now eight years that I am here. After my PhD, I, work, I, worked, um, uh, I got a fellowship from the uh, CNES, which is a French space agency, to work in, uh, on the preparation of uh, a mission called Megatropic. That was a space-bound mission aiming at uh, documenting and monitoring the water cycle in the intertropical region. Then uh, I came to Norman uh, because NASA was uh, uh, preparing another mission called the Global Precipitation Measurement Mission and I have been uh, working on, on this topic uh, since then. I, when I arrived, I was a postdoctoral researcher and uh, uh, I uh, became a research scientist. And uh, finally, I uh, joined uh, the uh, OU faculty in uh, January 20, 2011. Uh, so after uh, my experience with uh, uh, Megatropic, I was looking for an international experience and uh, at the time NASA was uh, reaching out to the Norman community because uh, they were preparing for the Global Precipitation Measurement Mission which, which was launched in later in 2014 and uh, they were really interested in uh, the expertise developed in, uh, at, o at OU but also uh, with partners at NOAA, National Server Storms Lab, in uh, monitoring and uh, uh, doing science on um, uh, precipitation, severe weather, and especially focusing on fine scale processes. Uh, so at the time, NASA also was looking for uh, the national networks like uh, NEXRAD, the ground radars, to benchmark uh, the upcoming mission. So in that context, uh, that, was, that was really fitting what I was doing in France. So I came here and uh, kind of translated uh, the observations that we are making from the ground for space-bound sensors. Uh, sorry, translated uh, to space-bound sensors. And uh, by doing so, bridged across uh, ground, the ground-based community working on precipitation and the space-bound community and uh, bridging, bridging also across uh, NOAA and NASA has been very uh, rewarding and exciting. So, uh, and uh, I became increasingly involved in the, in the community through, uh, for example, being uh, uh, involved in journals as an associate editor. So little by little, I built my career here. Uh, my main area of science is on the water cycle, uh, more specifically hydrometeorology hydrology, and uh, remote sensing. With GPM, we are working uh, at uh, diverse scales like uh, climate, uh, weather, and also water resources. Uh, my research port portfolio also uh, broadened since I arrived here at OU, and uh, I uh, have been involved in uh, uh, projects more uh, focused on applications like uh, forecasting and monitoring of uh, flash floods. And we have um, developed products and frameworks that have been transitioned to operations. So this is also an aspect of my work that I like, being able to work on uh, very fundamental uh, aspects of the water cycle uh, to the uh, applications that has a, an impact on society. We, um, what I like is to, uh, to develop uh, knowledge and uh, um, tools that are highly innovative and highly practical. During fall, I am uh, teach teaching quantitative hydrometeorology. Uh, this course uh, is developed in the context of the new hydrology and water security program, where uh, we are trying uh, to 
synergize uh, te um, teaching, research, and our outreach activities uh, across uh, the Norman campus. And uh, uh, quantitative hydrometeorology uh, prepares uh, students uh, toward bridging across hydrology and meteorology because hydrology is a water cycle component have been traditionally uh, studied uh, separately. And uh, uh, we witness currently a renewal of uh, hydrology by working at uh, the intersections and uh, bridging across the subdisciplines. So we are trying uh, to promote that uh, kind of teaching and uh, hope that the next uh, practitioners of the water cycle, uh, scientists, uh, will uh, be uh, uh, better equipped to tackle uh, major challenges of uh, the 21st century related to water. Because I am uh, uh, working in uh, a domain where interdisciplinary is a, a really key word and becomes increasingly important, I try uh, to uh, take the most of the diversity of background of students within the classroom. Also expose, uh, connect uh, fundamental concepts uh, that we can derive on the board to real life examples uh, so that uh, they, they can really feel inspired to uh, discuss around them and also uh, be confident that uh, they can apply those uh, concepts to the uh, later when they graduate, after graduation from the school. Yeah, I, I typically use a diversity of techniques for teaching, um, from uh, visual uh, to uh, physical to uh, using a diversity of support, examples taken from my research or uh, from uh, uh, examples, sorry, examples taken from uh, uh, research from other, other people. Um, and we have the chance uh, we are lucky because um, we are in a fantastic building where uh, we have people from academia but also uh, from the uh, from operations. So it is uh, great and very convenient to expose the students to a variety of uh, uh, activities and perspectives on the topic we are uh, uh, studying in class. So if I have only one recommendation, it would be to uh, explore uh, as much as uh, you can uh, the uh, numerous opportunities uh, offered by uh, this environment in this building, uh, looking for, uh, you know, uh, ranging from uh, operational research uh, led by uh, the NOAA National Cyber Storms Lab uh, we have also uh, very strong expertise on radar remote sensing with the, with the Advanced Radar Research Center. Uh, we have also a fundamental research performed at the School of Meteorology. So this enables uh, to really build uh, your, um, your project as a student uh, and uh, your future career. And for um, uh, graduate students, uh, my recommendation would be to take time to carefully prepare uh, your, um, uh, your graduate studies. Look uh, for a topic that uh, you will be ready uh, to, um, uh, to tackle despite, you know, you will have ups and downs. So you want uh, to um, choose a topic and an advisor, an advisor. No matter what, uh, you feel confident and you like uh, to, to tackle. And uh, an advisor also is uh, very important. You will be committed uh, to work with this person uh, for a few years. So I would highly recommend that you take time to discuss with your future advisor and uh, uh, ask yourself the question, I am ready to, uh, to do that.